New tonight, the iconic Superman building in Providence is set to get a new lease on life, but could it also get a new name? 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian dug into the terms of the proposed $220 million overhaul of the skyscraper, and she joins us now with what she's learned. Kim? Naming rights for the tower are listed as a way for the developer to potentially offset the cost of his share of the project, though it's too soon to say whether the building that's been called Superman for its resemblance to the Daily Planet will be known by any other name. Nine years to the day after Bank of America moved out. The bank is closed for good. Rhode Island leaders say the Superman building won't be torn down, but will instead be redeveloped into housing, retail, office, and event space. Hundreds of new residents brought to our downtown, hundreds of construction jobs, and restoring our skyline, lighting up that iconic building. The plan would see the 26-story skyscraper transform into 285 apartments, 20% of which will be designated as affordable housing. The building's grand banking hall would become a space for events. It's a sad day. As the final tenants left on April 12th of 2013, a spokesperson for the developer told us of hopes then to turn the building into residences. How much money ballpark might you need? I don't want to ballpark it. We're going to get into specifics in two weeks and we're going to put that forward to the media, elected officials and the public. That was nine years ago. The deal announced Tuesday came together in just days. I think Sunday night was probably the first time more than just my optimism, but I actually thought we were going to get it done. The total project cost is pegged at 220 million, which will include 26 million from the state and 15 million from the city, including a $10 million loan. We read through the terms of the deal and learned that $10 million will be loaned by the city at 1% interest for 40 years. While the deal was praised by state and city leaders during Tuesday's announcement, some raised concerns about the cost. Candidate for Providence Mayor Gonzalo Cuervo tweeting, Providence taxpayers would extend a 40 year low interest $10 million loan plus $5 million grant, plus generous tax stabilization agreement. Maybe we can throw in a convertible Bentley, too. The terms also encourage the developer to find other sources of revenue for the project, like building and or banking hall naming rights, meaning the iconic tower could one day bear the name of a person or company. A spokesperson for High Rock Development says they don't have details on that front just yet. And should the approval process move along smoothly, the developer says they plan to start demolition in the next five to six months, a process that could take another six months before construction can begin. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.